Here I'm about to modify the Scientific Explorer Bionic Ear toy. A friend of mine suggested I get it because the microphone is in the wrong place. This first screwdriver is too big. The second one is too small. The point is too small. You need good tools for this project. This one is just right. Before you begin, you should remove the cap off of the dial. I learned this from the Amazon reviews. One person broke their toy because they didn't know about the cap and the hidden screw. I used a can opener tool because it has a thin top. You should also have a bowl to store uh, the screws and any other small parts. There are eight screws to remove. Some are in rather tight, so get a good grip. I also spin the screws a little extra to ensure they are free. I should also note that this will void your warranty, so I'm not responsible if you break your toy. Use caution. Oops, I forgot to remove the dish. I'll do that now. I get a few more screws out. And now we're ready to take it apart. Uh, oops, uh, I forgot the battery holder. I'll get that right now. And the battery doesn't want to come out, so I'll leave it there. And we're ready to open it. Whoops, I almost forgot the dial. I almost broke my toy. Well, thanks again, Mr. Tuttle, for pointing that out in the Amazon comments. Um, it'll take a, a little finesse to get it out, and uh, now it just comes apart. Uh, well, it, it almost comes apart. The front post is uh, glued, I think, so, uh, so I just broke it. Here's the microphone. Uh, notice the wire is too short. Here's a quick look at the viewing tube. Um, the front shade uh, comes off, uh, so uh, a lens uh, could be inserted. And uh, there's a port on the bottom for perhaps a, uh, a laser reflex sight. And uh, here is a look at the um, at the dial part, the uh, the part that uh, people broke when they couldn't, uh, or they weren't aware of the uh, the screw underneath the dial. So there, that's one side. That's the other side. No markings I could see. Um, probably difficult to replace. Uh, so uh, here's the uh, where the microphone attaches to the board. I decided to try to desolder it with my soldering iron. Um, Keep a nice, uh, nice clean tip, and uh, just desolder it there and pull. Uh, whoops! I just pulled off the soldering pad and uh, kind of broke my board a little bit. Um, I'm going to have to solder directly to the surface mount part. Uh, I can do that. You should probably use wire cutters and uh, cut the wire instead of doing what I did. What I did was probably not very bright, um, but uh, uh, I'll, I'll manage. Uh, so, uh, so just get some wire. Uh, copper wire is preferred because it solders really well. Uh, try to keep your soldering iron clean. I, I use a wet sponge and wipe it every now and then to remove oxide buildup. Um, and uh, when you uh, uh, when you go to solder, you want to uh, uh, you want to tin your your ends, meaning coat solder onto the exposed copper on your wire ends. Um, and uh, uh, then solder it in. All right, so um, uh, notice that uh, there's a channel for the, uh, for the wire. Uh, what the hell happened? And there's my truss. 
Um, so I used a rubber band made a truss out of toothpicks to hold the uh, hold the microphone in place after I extended it and, and removed the knob part at the end. I'm re- rotating the the gun around. Uh, it's not really a gun; it's it's a microphone. But I'm rotating it around so that the the glue stays uh, at the uh, at the joints and uh, it makes a nice contact, uh, nice bulbous uh, little glue ball right where I want it. And, um, and that's it. Uh, you might want to use uh, a tube or something instead of uh, two toothpicks. There it is; it's finished. And um, uh, it's ready to go. So uh, now you just attach the uh, the dish, and uh, and you have your modified gun. You, uh, to check focus, you can just use a laser pointer. You don't need a sun or anything like that. Just pretend you're at infinity and shine it. See where the spot goes. Make sure your microphone's there. And, uh, and that's it. Good luck. And uh, And be careful when modifying your bionic ear toy. Thank you very much.